Hey, what's going on people, Barefox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize and get more FPS in Roblox. Once again, this is a very question video. I hope you guys watch this video till the end for better results. Also, do leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is creating a restore point, And this is really, really important. For that, simply search for create a restore point, And then once this window pops up, you need to look for your local disk C or any drive it says system. Click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled. Then you click on create and name it something that you can remember. For example, uh, I'll select Roblox and simply click on create. In case of any mishappening or anything that you do not want happens to your computer, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties. I would like to introduce you all to Avisen Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere, using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android, and iOS. Avisen Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Avisen Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obvious and Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Let's move to the step number two, that is best window settings. And for that, you have to go into the settings section of your windows and then look for game mode. This is really important, turning on game mode. This will optimize your PC by disabling the apps and other services running in the background so you can get an immersive gaming experience without any disturbance. I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing on, then go right under to the graphic settings and then click on browse and go to the install location of your Roblox. If you don't know it, you can simply search for Roblox player on your PC then click on open file location and you will find this shortcut. You have to click on open file location once again and there you have the Roblox installation directory. Now you need to go back to settings, click on browse button and paste this directory on the top and then click on Roblox player launcher.exe, click on add go to options and then click on high performance go back to the browse button paste the file location once again now add the roblox player beta as well over here now click on option and select high performance as well right after that you have to go to the windows update section and make sure that your windows is always up to date if not you have to update it to the latest version so in so in case of any fps drops causing because of the updates or the bugs it will be fixed with the latest version next step is deanimating your windows and this is really important for that you have to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then open this performance options right over here click on adjust for best performance and then select smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. This will make your windows experience very immersive. It will deanimate all of the unnecessary things and allowing your PC to process everything much faster. Right after applying these settings, you will see immediate changes. Also go over to the advanced section and make sure that the adjust for best performance is by default selected to programs instead of background services. For laptop users, it could be set to background services. So make sure to set it to programs. Then click on OK. Step number four is system configuration. And this is a really simple step. You have to search for system configuration on your PC and then this small window will pop right in front of you. You have to go to the boot section, select your Windows 11 or the current OS that is the default OS. Click on advanced options, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors over here. Then click on OK and that will enhance your booting of your PC. Click on apply, click on OK and exit without restart. We will restart our PC in the later process. This process will ensure your system's longevity as well as performance in the long run. Next step is the Roblox FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This is a Roblox FPS booster. You have to download and open it up. You will find in four simple files over here. First one is the CPU optimization and registries. Open it up and run the increased power efficiency. This will enhance the power flowing in your PC. Then 
we have the AMD and Intel respective CPU folders. If you don't know what processor are you using, you have to search for system information on your PC and then look for your processor. For me, it is an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. It can be different for you, but you have to make sure it is Intel or AMD. For my case, I have an AMD processor, so I have to open it up and run the AMD CPU priority. If you have an Intel CPU folder, you can open the Intel one and run the Intel priority. Now, the second folder is the RAM optimization. And of course, as it says, it helps you optimize the performance of your RAM. Once again, look for system information on your PC and then take a note of install physical memory on your computer. For me, it is 16 GB. So in this folder, I have left a preset of a lot of memory over here. 16 GB is right here. It can be different for you. So I've left a lot of presets you can choose from, but make sure to select the one that your PC has. I have also left a reset to default registry in case you don't like the performance. You can always reset it back to default. Go to the third folder, which is the helpers folder, and you will find in two programs. First one is the clean temporary files. And as it says, it cleans up the temporary files on your PC. For that, right click and run this as administrator. This will simply ask you to delete all unnecessary temporary files. You can press any key and it will start deleting all of the unnecessary and unwanted files on your PC. Don't worry, this is completely safe and it won't harm your PC in any ways. Then we have an unpack CPU program. Right click and run this as administrator as well. Our Windows by default has this feature. When we are not using all of the cores, it will automatically hibernate the cores that are not being utilized. And we don't want this because of course it impacts on our performance. So we have to set this core parking index all the way to 100% and click on apply. This will basically enable all of your cores. It does not allow your PC to sleep, but it will increase the performance of your computer. Once again, if you're on a laptop, I would not recommend doing this as this will increase the heating and fan noises. So you can put it on when you're playing and you can turn this thing off and let your PC rest. Then we have a Roblox priority folder in, in which I have Roblox high priority registry. I've left this priority in this. So you can just set it to high priority and it will allow your computer to assign more resources when you're playing Roblox. And lastly is the Roblox FPS unlocker and I'll show you how to use it. Simply right click and run this as administrator. And now it will make a settings file right over here. Now it is basically in your system tray. You have to click on this show hidden icons over here and you will find the Roblox FPS unlocker active in your directory. You have to open it up and select unlock Roblox player. Then select FPS cap and set it all the way to the max. Then click on it again. And now for the advanced version, use console errors and then let it run in the background. Now let's move to the last step. That is the best Roblox settings that you can possibly apply. Simply open Roblox on your PC. And once it opens up, you can drop into any game. Okay, so once you're in your game, you have to press the escape button, go over to the settings section and then scroll down for camera mode. Make sure to set it to default. Then camera sensitivity and volume. These are personal preference. You can set it according to yourself. For the full screen mode, I would always recommend you guys to put this to on and that will allow your PC to assign resources to the applications running in full screen. Then graphic mode, go for manual and set the graphics quality to somewhere in between. Or if you have a super low end PC, you can set it all the way to down. And as you guys can see in the background, it will automatically degrade the quality of your game. Right after that, you will find performance stats. You can keep it on and that will show you the FPS that you are getting, the ping the GPU load, CPU load and memory being utilized whenever you play the game. For the micro profiler, keep it off and camera inverted, keep it off. And these are the best settings that you can use to play the game. So guys, I hope this video might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We are really close to 120,000 subscribers and I definitely believe in you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Firefox and peace out.